So I've started to take everything apart. So I put the old camper cushions underneath the top. So the weight will be even throughout once I re-glue everything back down. And then for this little spot right here, I got this piece of aluminum piping. So I flattened it out. It was cheaper than buying a piece of aluminum when I really don't need that much. I just need a square for this side and then I'm going to do a square on the other side to just make sure it doesn't get punctured. And then I'll be re-gluing everything back down. I have all my table pieces and bed piping over here drying. So here we go. I'm using this epoxy gorilla um, epoxy to glue the piece of aluminum to the camper top. Epoxied the piece of aluminum to that section underneath the styrofoam and I think I about used four tubes of liquid nail on everything else. So I really make sure I really made sure that everything was really glued down, had a lot of good contact points, having some weight on here just to make sure everything sets really nicely. Last week I already pre-cut the two sides. Um, I think I can salvage this one. This one got really wet, so I'll have to recut that section. So I've got several of these wall guards. My plan or thought is to take off that section and that section over there and use these as a buffer point or point to cover those holes and then flex seal over that to really make sure it's a tight seal. So that's what I'm gonna be working on right now while the camper top sets and we'll go from there. So while painting, um, I wanted to seal the bed pullouts just because it's older wood. It's probably been through a lot of wear and tear and I really just wanted to seal it to make sure none of the weird smells were coming through just give an extra layer of protection against any water damage. Um, and then I've also painting the rod. Um, this rod, if I can try and do this, goes up. And then there's this middle part that connects from in the middle of this one. Um, there's a rod that connects to it and then goes up to the top of the roof camper. Um, where it connects, yeah. where it connects there's some damage and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some flex seal tape and I'm going to go around it make sure that will help secure just to make sure I don't want this to damage any further to bend any further so with this flex tape is a super thick that'll help kind of protect it from bending anymore and then I'll paint over it and then I'll move everything from that side over here and I'll do the other side as well. I took out the extra paneling and from all the rain we got last weekend a lot of it got damaged so the extra pieces I thought I had to be able to replace the paneling that I already glued in isn't usable. I think this is almost in worse shape than the stuff I took out. I tried to use this piece and when I was trying to put it in, you can see it cracked because of the water damage. I'm going to have to recut two of these and try and use these. So I'm going to just probably gonna have to just glue it down use a lot of glue and a lot of weights to hopefully glue it down straight I'm not quite sure 
what to do. So I hope when it dries and cures that I have good enough weight on the board or on the panel to make sure it's in all the places that needs to be in contact so it doesn't warp or look like it's warping. Um, so we'll see what it looks like tomorrow. I think I'm going to call it a day. Recap of today, I pulled everything off that I originally done and I cut the two sides, put the two sides on, got this side re-glued, got all the boards re-glued. I ran out of liquid nails so I can't do the other side. So I'll have to pick up more liquid nails tomorrow. So I can cut that one and get it glued. I've painted both bed pullouts, um, painted the wood, and then I've also painted the poles. I think this one will need, yeah, this one will need a second coat. It's just the paint can is helping hold down the board. This is a mess. <laughs> Um, but I'm going to call it a day and come back tomorrow and hopefully make some more progress. I'm hoping I can get the roof done to where I can start caulking things and getting it ready to paint. Um, and maybe tomorrow I'll start working on these boards to go along here. Um, and that would be an easy step to do while that is gluing down. Yeah. Hopefully from here things start moving at a consistent pace. Hopefully no more holdups. That will be really nice. <laughs>